and right now it can be very stressful filling up a gas tank and that is forcing some folks to look for alternative ways to get around. Aria Thornton's live in Starkville with a transit system that's been around for quite a while, but is coming in very handy these days. This is just one of the many stops that smart buses take on a daily basis, and it is impacting the lives of many Starkville residents and more than ever before. I have no transportation. Amy Smith rides the bus in Starkville every day and has for years. Whether it's to the grocery store or to the doctor's office, Smith knows the bus will always be there to help. It gets me everywhere I need to go. With 11 different routes running nearly every day of the week, the buses can take people like Smith just about anywhere in Starkville. And the best part? We don't have to pay to get on here. That's right. It's free to anyone who wants to use the transit service. But it isn't just the price of gas pushing people to public transits. According to Executive Director of Transportation Jeremiah Dumas, around 35 percent of people are without cars in Starkville. We know the importance of our service. We want to be there for them so that they don't have to worry about transportation costs. Dumas says since the decrease in cases of COVID combined with the increase in gas prices, Smart Transit has seen more people using their system. And he hopes that people continue to use their service even when prices eventually decrease. We're here to help the community. We're here to improve quality of life and to be something that people don't have to worry about in terms of transportation. Now, in terms of gas prices for the buses themselves, they actually fuel the buses at the transportation hub and haven't had to buy a full tanker at this point. They are still using the one that they bought a few weeks ago. But when that day comes, Dumas says it will be a pretty penny. Reporting live in Starkville, Rhea Thornton, WTVA 9 News.